In this quick tutorial, we will learn how to add multiple colors, or multiple materials, to various different parts of a single object, in Blender. And we will examine this for three different objects, with three different shapes. Let us start with a blank new file. Delete this default cube, and add a monkey from the Add menu. First, we will add one single material, for this entire object. Let us turn on the Material View mode. Then go to the Materials tab. Create a new material. You can select any color in the base color, maybe some light yellow. So, this new material has been applied to this whole object. You can also see that when we added this material, a material got added into this material list called Material 1 for our monkey. In order to add another material to a part of this object, we have to add another material in its material list. So click on this plus icon to get another entry added to this material list. Then create a new material. And like before, we can change the color of this second material, maybe light blue. So, now we have two materials in this material list. And then, while this object is selected, let us go to the edit mode. Turn on the face selection mode, and deselect everything. Press the shift key and select only those faces, where you want to apply the second material. Then in this list, you have to select the second material, which is already selected here. So just click on this assign button. Now this second material will be applied on the selected parts. Let us go back to the object mode. Even at a later point, if we want to change this, we can always modify this material to anything else like this. It will reflect on the object perfectly. Let us now delete this and examine the case with an icosphere. Like before, we will create a new material for this sphere and select some shade of blue color. We will apply a second material to some specific parts. Let us do something different this time. So, while the icosphere is selected, go to the edit mode. The face selection is already turned on. All the faces are selected here. If not, just press A on your keyboard to select all. And pick up this bevel tool from the toolbox. Then drag this yellow handle slowly down, in order to create a small amount of bevel along the edges. When we create a bevel this way, Blender keeps only the beveled edges selected, so we can apply a different material just for the bevel parts. Let us first create a new entry here, then add a new material, and give it a contrast color, like red. So we have the second material here. Just click on Assign now. This material is now assigned to the beveled edges. Let us go back to the object mode. We got a nice sphere with some wireframe kind of getup. Okay, we will now look at the third case. So, let us add a simple UV sphere. We will first add a base material for this and pick up some color, like this. Let us now go to the edit mode. Before we select anything, first deselect the default selection. Ensure that the face selection mode is turned on. Now, we will select some face loops, vertically, and also horizontally. You need to press the Shift key, and the Alt key, and click on an edge to expand the selection for a loop, in that direction. Once the selection is made, we will apply another material for this. So add a new entry in this material list, and create a new material. We can use any color for this. We can even change other properties here. Let us step up the metallic property. We will now assign this second material for the selected parts of our sphere. So, this way you can add any number of materials to different parts of an object. Let us convert this selection into a metal ring. So, under the Select menu, select the Invert option. Then from the Face menu, select Extrude along normals and resize the red part slightly, just a little bit smaller than the yellow part. Let us now go back to the Object mode. Under the Object menu, select the Shade Smooth option. Then go to the Modifiers tab. Add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Change the levels to 3 or 4. At the end, we have this metal ring structure surrounding the pink ball. But these are discrete parts. Another useful concept for a multi-material object is the gradient shading. You can check out the video link given below. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.